Hey guys, my name's Kevin. Today I'm going to be running you through some metabolic data that we got from a VO2 max test we did on Dawson. So this is what the data would look like outputted from the Parvo uh, True One uh, metabolic cart in the Excel format. The Excel format is the most uh, practical way to get the data um, because it's very easy to compare numbers to other trials or do graphs or anything like that. So that's why we're going to go through it on here. I'm going to talk about the three main key uh, data points you'll look at for a lot of studies, um, and then I'll also go over very quickly the other ones. So let's start up at the top. Um, up at the top is just very basic information. Um, as you can see, Cedarville Exercise Science Lab, uh, the date uh, when we did the test, and just information about Dawson, our um, patient test protocol, testing environment, and base values for sampling. So this is kind of all your um, basic data, just kind of a precursor to the test. But then once we get down here, we see all these daunting numbers. <laughs> it can look like a lot of numbers, but I promise you, it's really not too bad when you just break it down column by column and really just look at what's going on here. So let's start all the way on the left. We've got time in minutes, and as you can see, it just goes down. Next we have Volume of oxygen consumption in liters per minute. It gets bigger as we go down. And then we've got VO2 per kilogram. Bigger all that we go down. And there's his VO2 max right there. So if you're simply just looking for the VO2 max, all you have to do is go right down to the bottom and they get it for you. So that's cool. Next is METS. METS is really cool because a lot of ellipticals, treadmills, uh, different machines at the gym will actually have a MET calculator on the display. So if you do a VO2 max test on a client and want to prescribe a level of intensity for them to work at, uh, METS is a really good way to do that. Heart rate would also be a good way too. Um, VCO2, so this is the same as volume of oxygen, but it's just the CO2 they breathed out in liters per minute. Uh, ventilation, so this is um, liters per minute. Um, respiratory exchange ratio is looking at how much carbs versus fat your client is using. So when you're working out at a lesser intensity, you're using more fat. Um, it's aerobic. Um, but as the um, exercise gets harder and harder, you have to go more anaerobic. And so you go to um, glucose. And so when you reach an RER of 1, you're using all glucose for that activity. So that's how we know we got Dawson to his max, because he got to all glucose. Um, ideally, we'd want that a little bit higher, but based on his heart rate, we know we got Dawson to his max. But ideally, you want to look for an RER around 1.1 to 1.15. But RER is another big one to look at. This is your respiratory rate, breaths per minute. And as you can see, as he um, gets working out harder, he's breathing a lot more. VT is ventilation, um, uh, not ventilation, tidal volume, sorry. This is the percent of oxygen that's breathed out and the percent of CO2 that's breathed out from the client. Heart rate, this one's really important because this is um, one of the ways we look at the indicator of a max test. And so we got Dawson to 198 beats per minute. And so all these data points are all lined up according to the time. So it's very easy to tell, all right, at 10 minutes into the test, Dawson was at these numbers across the board. Um, so that's really cool to look at as well. Treadmill speed and treadmill elevation would come up if you ran the um, VO2 protocol through the metabolic cart, but we did a manual test just increasing the speed on the treadmill with the buttons on the treadmill. So that's why these didn't come up. But those can also be useful looking at different heart rates at different speeds and grades. And then last but not least is calories based on the metabolic cart. So that's a really quick run through of the data. Um, like I said, when you break it down column by column, it's really not too bad. Um, like I said, some of your big two are VO2, RER, um, and heart rate. Those are your big three, excuse me. Um, so those are the columns I would specify to look at. Um, sure there's tons more data that you could look at and get from here, but that's a quick overview of it all. Hopefully that helped you um, <laughs> break down this big Excel file um, 
and thanks for watching.